Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Rust. We are going over some techniques, some tactics, some strategies that you can do on a high population server, whether it's on PC, PlayStation, or the Xbox, since we have the beta coming just around the corner for the current generation consoles. Uh, this is going to be pertinent uh, soon enough because the beta is obviously going to come before the release. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and uh, we'll show you some stuff that we do uh, that can help uh, quite a bit, especially when you're getting dropped uh, on a high population, which is pretty much going to be the entire beta. Let's get real. So again, this technique will work for um, all the platforms. So here we go. So this uh, particular technique, I don't even know what we call this, but um, one of the really great ways to loot and get scrap is to work the flotillas on the shorelines. And you can do that with a boat. If you have a teammate, you can use a helicopter, which is very awesome, and then somebody can drop you off. But let me go ahead and show you what items you'll need for this. You don't need all of these, but they do help. A lot of times you'll see people throw these out. Goggles, diving mask, uh, diving tank, a wetsuit, so you actually keep uh, protection from the cold. And flippers for speed. Really all you technically need is an air tank. Um, but these flippers definitely help. And uh, a little addition for us, we're bringing gasoline for a boat. And I'm also bringing a light uh, on the end of my crossbow. You can't shoot underwater, at least last time I checked. Uh, but these are quite nice. So if you live on the shoreline... Um, you can grab boats or you can just swim out there and I'll go over some of the techniques while we're flying over there Odin has been nice enough to be out there and to meet us uh, And he's gonna take the helo back. This is a bit on the rich side of things. I'm actually gonna be flying over to Odin here in a second I gotta get my bearings. Okay, so you're like northeast ish. Okay, got it um, As I was saying earlier, you can totally do this with a boat uh, if you've got a tiny boathouse boat shack This works really well um, but we're lucky enough to have a base and we're going to fly over. So hopefully I don't get shot down or the, that'll be the end of this guy. <laughs> uh. Oh, there's a SAM site. Don't get shot. Okay, so while we're heading over to Odin, hopefully you can hear me. Uh, this technique works really well because you can't shoot underwater. And why that's important is if you've got a lot of people trying to drop you, um, jumping or using the water as your safety net or like a no fire zone is why it's so effective. And you can just do um, the sunken treasures. You can do the flotillas. It's very, very, very effective. Look at this guy. Ooh. Look at this. People have been busy in the valley. I'm trying to be very cautious because, uh, I, as I said before, actually, I don't think I said... This is a an official server, and this is day three or day four of the wipe. So, ooh, that's a big compound. Let me get out of there. I'm trying to find Odin on the shore here. Hello. Am I close? Let me check. Nope, I'm backwards. I see some big compounds on the shore, my guy. That's a lot of bears. Dude, I could just fly around these maps and just take a look at the shoreline and stuff. It's so beautiful. You're beautiful. These little white specks there, they actually mark uh, a crash site. Or, um, not a crash site, but a wreck, a shipwreck. Is that you down there? Okay. Coming in, baby girl. What's up? Yeah, Odin was nice enough to find us a boat, and he's going to fly the helo back to the base, which is awesome. And yes, um, I know a lot of people have been asking us, is this, um, is this the experience you would get uh, for the console versions that are coming out? Yes, all of this is vanilla. The helicopters, the boats, all of this. So don't think that this is like some kind of extra mod or anything. This is all the, the experience we're going to get, uh, as far as we know. Okay, you should be good. Okay. So if you have a boathouse, um, and actually I, I've got a video on that too. Uh, the boat I, I saw smoke, I got scared for a second. The boathouse um, is nice, or even having a base close, because then you can grab these boats, and if you stick it under a rooftop that's yours, they won't decay. So it's quite useful. Oh man, this boat's almost smoked. So I'm using a hammer 
And I have fragments in wood. What I'm going to do is sit down. I'm going to get out in the water first. Make my fuel storage. I'm going to keep a little bit of low grade on me. Kind of get out in the middle of the ocean so I don't get shot from the shore. Woo! So again, the reason why this is so amazing is because you can use the water for safety. Oops, I gotta make sure I don't have a runaway boat. I have to kill the engine. And you see these flotillas? You can still get the scrap and, and find components that you're gonna need to move the needle as far as research. And that we find, or at least I have found, that um, during high population times where you're really getting wrecked, like uh, if you look over at our base, we're next to the outpost, we get a lot of traffic out here. And sometimes during the day, it's really hard to leave your base and not get shot. So it's hard to do those collections along the roads and get BPs, scrap, components. So out here, um, you can do something like this. Let me just show you how this works. Let me throw in the air tank, the flippers, and the wetsuit. Did I get it all? Let me take out my gasoline. I always keep half of it on me just in case someone steals my boat. Okay, so... I guess I'll show you this real quick. Um, by the way, when you have flippers on, <laughs> you can't move on the surface. So you can move really quickly. And yes, it gets dark down here, um, but we can use like a, a light on the actual crossbow. But see, when you're underwater, other people can't shoot you. I can't shoot my crossbow. People can't shoot uh, projectile weapons. Um, so it's a real safe way. So if somehow somebody comes up on you on the boat, you can just jump out with the loot on you, and uh, if you look here, if I hold G, which is the map, and I'm not sure what it's going to be for the consoles, but I can use my direction, and I can swim to the shore. And if you look at my air tank, I have 50, uh, 564 seconds left, and I can actually switch air tanks in the middle, so it's quite useful. Let me go ahead and get up to the surface real quick. I'll kind of show you how this works. And I'll take these off. Yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty crazy when you're on the surface. So you kind of have to juggle between the two. So I'm going to show you um, some of the flotillas. Hey, look how beautiful this game is. Come on. That's crazy. So these are just like the uh, barrels you'll see on the side of the road. Or I should say on the ring road now that that's a thing. Um, let me see if I've got my head mask on so I've got some light. You guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, I do. I have a miner's helmet on. So it takes some melee. This is going to be gasoline and crude. A red barrel. But uh, let's say uh, a scenario that's quite likely is another boat or one of the ribs, which is the military boat that's really fast. It usually has a, a gang of people with guns. Um, they could be doing some of the other world events. They could be doing lots of things. You, they may come up on you quickly, so you can just jump in the water. And then put on your goggles and your flippers, and you're gone. Completely gone. I guess I can use my helmet. It's extra creepy, though. We um, take out my crossbow, turn this on. And then you can just... Oh, look! I didn't even know we were next to a wreck. But you can see that, um, let's say somebody were to come up on us, they literally couldn't do anything. They'll most likely take your boat and uh, run away with it and take your gasoline. But uh, like I said before, you can just swim to the shoreline, and that's your safety. And because I brought two air tanks, that's uh, where it's at. Okay, so we might as well show you this. There's also underwater places you can loot, which are uh, really nice. You don't have to melee anything because you can't. And you go up to these boxes here, and you open them up. Just untie, and they'll float to the surface. These will give away your position, too, so you do have to know get back to the surface and open them up they they act as barrels almost or or actual crates once they're at the surface and I'll show you what a couple of these look like I don't see a lot of people doing this which is kind of good but even if they are uh, as I said before it's it's rather safe if you're playing it very conservative and defensive as it were defensive is a better term I think and you might there may be a time uh, during the wipe where you have to play like that because that's the only way you can move the needle whether it be for farming or you know whatever just went back up to the surface and we should be able to hear other people coming open this up and we can loot all these ooh 22 high quality is not bad at all 
Okay, so the wreckage is marked by these water bottles that are floating on the surface. Yeah, there you go. That's a better view of it. Try not to puke. Okay, let's see. Our other crates are here. The wood armor is not bad for doing monument runs. And it's free. Ooh, targeting computer? See, already we're rich. I've already got this one, so I'm going to toss it. And we'll just keep going. I do like to take my... Um, I'm sorry, my flippers off, my goggles, because I can always put those on when I'm underwater, basically safe, right? Did I knock everything over here? I don't think I did. Oh, uh, we'll hit the next flotilla. How creepy is this? Okay, another cool feature of the boat. Uh, people always handpick all the, um, all the good stuff out. So these are just gasoline, uh, nodes here, but that's fine. We'll take those too. And just like road barrels, they, uh, they'll despawn after you break all the barrels. Low grade is um, definitely very valuable now because all the vehicles use them to some degree. So you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna have them. So watch this flotilla should start to melt now. Do it while I'm on it. Just show you what that looks like. My air tank is 441. A quick note, if you have a workbench, you can take this back to the workbench and fill it back up with air. You'll have a little bit of durability, which means you can only fill it up uh, so far, so it'll be under 600 units, uh, or uh, 600 seconds, but you can reuse these quite a bit. And I often see people just throwing these on the ground. Watch, the one time I'm like, hey, you can totally do this, and it doesn't melt in front of us. Come on, do it! Is it because I'm touching it? That's really weird. Why is it not going away? Anyways, they do decay if they change the despawn time, but anyways. We'll see another silhouette over here. We'll see what this is. You can find some decent crates out here. Again with the fuel. This is just like uh, DayZ or any other game or Ark where if the node doesn't get completely cleared. Uh, things don't respawn, so uh, honestly, we need the fuel, so I'll, I'll take it. Another thing you gotta look out for is when things fall off the flotilla, they do sink, and it's pretty much impossible to find it. If you do, you're very lucky. See another silhouette, let's head for that. Oh, yeah, so um, there's a place you can do key binds. Uh, to switch seats, again, I'm not sure what that's going to be for the PlayStation or the Xbox, but I set my switch seat button to X. And I can go up to the front of the boat here, and actually there's a small wooden box inside of the boat you can use to store things. I'd recommend storing low-tier stuff, so if you do have to ditch your boat, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, so, and sometimes people are so rich, they just won't mess around with whatever it is you put there, because they're like, hey, I don't need that stuff. It's also kind of a cheese way to dodge bullets. Oh jeez, didn't see that. Yeah, sometimes there's like crates, sometimes there's the tool chest here. People have really been picking these clean. Oi. So a lot of times when we're doing this, because um, I'm usually doing this in the uh, during high traffic or in the early times for the wipe, I will... Um, I usually have a base close by. I usually don't have uh, somebody in a helicopter picking me up. That's some rich people business. But in this case, uh, I was able to fly over. Ozen was able to fly back. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, one of the monuments are here on the water, which is... Actually, there's two of them. There's the harbor, and there's the lighthouse. You can see it right there in the distance. I'll show off my light so you can see it. I'll show you the map. Yep, right here is the lighthouse. We're going in! If it's daylight, we'll have Odin swing back around and get me. <laughs> oh, there's that big base right there. Uh-oh! That's pretty sketchy, I don't know. Maybe we'll circle it. Is it almost daylight? Odin. 
You are Jen? You, um... It's... There's like a twilight out here. Do you want to head towards the lighthouse? Let's see if you can do an aerial pickup. This is probably bad news for us and we might not make it. I'll try. Okay. Yeah. Should be, ab should be able to stay high and stuff. Let me know when you're close. Uh, I'm gonna see what other kind of stuff we can find out here. That's that's halfway decent. I'll hear you coming. Okay, so while Odin is, I think yeah, the sun's coming up. Or at least we're able to see more. We'll need some more so you can get an idea of what kind of loot to pull. Oh what? Okay, so you see, I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, so the plane actually went into the clouds. Another quick fun fact, if you're trying to throw your own drops down, and that is a thing in this game, uh, if you find uh, like a smoke canister that'll actually call a supply drop like that, and again, that's all vanilla, um, those are amazing, but they're usually, uh, everybody sees it, so it's usually contested. So what I like to do is take out a bunch of scuba gear like this, go out on a boat and throw the smoke out here so the airdrop happens over the ocean. You can see anybody coming, and you can take shots at them, and then you can be way faster than them, because most people don't use scuba equipment. I'm, I'm glad that it flew overhead, so we could uh, touch base on that, because that's what we use boats for. I, I, again, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but it's it's really useful. And again, it's just one way to do it. There's many different ways to string things together in this game and get things to happen for you, you know? You just gotta be creative. Here we go. Oh, we have a supply crate right here. Whoop. I'm the worst at getting up on the flotilla. I could be the only one that drowns doing this. Damn. Here we got some road signs for the equipment. Yeah, buddy. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a delay on that um, pickup. It's all good. Ooh, we got a toolbox over here. Ooh, girl. More wooden armor. That's not bad, though. We use that quite a bit. I'm a fan of using the bone knife out here in the uh, flotillas. It's cheap. And if you, uh, your character eats it a lot, you can harvest your own bones and then, bam, halfway decent melee. Good for skinning, good for clapping. Oh, where's the scrap? Where'd it go? Oh, I'm like maxed out. Oh, baby. In the boat. I can try to make it to the lighthouse. Yeah, we got a sunrise on the ocean here, or, yeah, is this the ocean? It is. Beautiful! Got the shallow water. I don't know what to do with my extra stuff. Oh, can I wear the... Maybe I can. Oh, my air tank just blew off. I forgot what slot it takes. Get that diving tank, baby. I'm not going to leave that behind. Yeah, by the way, if you don't have a diving tank on and you're underwater, you drown pretty quickly, so... Keep that, keep that in mind, for sure. Um, I guess I'll drop this. See what else I can take with me. Got this. We'll throw it there. What else just fell off? Oh, okay. Jeez, I was like, how are these falling off? Let me see where you're at. Oh, you are close. Okay. Look at you! Can you hover? Are you comfortable hovering? <laughs> and I can jump up on you? Look at this. This is some rich people pickup, right? 
You just get close, I can jump and, and grab it. Take your time. <laughs> Dude, that's so tight. <laughs> Lots of different ways to do stuff in this game. I got it. Woo! <laughs> this, you dude, you look funny with the goggles on. Nice. So, I can't think of a better way for us to end our, our, <laughs> our segment on water looting or techniques to loot when you're uh, on a high population server. Or PC, Xbox, or the PlayStation. <laughs> you look so funny with the goggles on. That's awesome. We're heading back to base. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this useful and helpful uh, for both PlayStation, Xbox, and the PC. Because this is stuff you can use right now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we we'll see you guys in the beta. And uh, be sure to, or a good reason to subscribe. Uh, I do post daily Daisy content and Rust content. And uh, most definitely we'll be streaming the beta as soon as it comes out. And so tune in for that. We're going to be doing long duration streams for that. And uh, doing all kinds of cool videos with the crew. So uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. We're heading back to base now. Excellent piloting, sir. Excellent. Look at us. Just slide right in. No mods. This is all vanilla, baby. I always find landing to be hard. Doesn't this base look familiar? Yes. <laughs> Side note. Our, um... <laughs> you want me to you want me to park it up there? Yeah, I got you, yeah. B. It's the tough. Thing is still needs to be. It's yeah. tough, man. I got you. Watch I crash it. Oh shit. Uh, oh yeah, it's real sensitive. I got this. Yeah, uh, vanilla, 100%. We get helicopters, all this good stuff. I cannot wait for this on console, man. I'll tell you what. Boom! We made it! We made it back with the loot. Always take the gas out. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, Bush. Bye! Beep, boop. Boop, boop.